Great, so welcome to part two of this combined home screen tutorial as well as the lock screen. In this video, I'll be setting up the lock screen. If you remember or forgot what it looks like, if you lock it like this and then unlock it, as you can see, it's got this really cool lock screen. It looks like a computer lock screen. It's even got your username, your password, and then all you have to do is tap it and it unlocks to this home screen. If you haven't seen how to set up this home screen, check in the description below and yeah, it's very easy to set up and you can do it in two launches. So getting back to your home screen or your lock screen, you wanna use the app called Widget Locker that we have right here. But don't worry, we still have a complete guide to this Widget Locker. It's very easy to set up and it's very easy to use. So all you wanna do now, as you can see, we also got the the time, the date, your messages, your calls, and as well as your battery. Great, so the first thing to set it up, you wanna select the little top button here, the little icon there, and it brings up your widget locker settings. From here, you wanna go into look and feel. You wanna select alternative wallpaper. You wanna select your wallpaper, that button, and you wanna go into the place where you've copied it onto your phone. What I have done is uploaded a blank one for you. It's a little bit different than the author's one simply because it's got a blank username, basically the one at the bottom here, that will allow you to put in your own email address or whatever, even your own name. So all you wanna do now is once you select the wallpaper, as you can see, it's got these little resizer. You wanna make it so that it fits the bottom. Don't worry about too much of the top. As long as it fits the sides and the bottom, you're all good to go. So from here, you're gonna select save. It's gonna set your wallpaper. Next, you're gonna go into your background tint. Doesn't really matter what your background tint could be. You can make it more or less. I like it to be quite bright. So you're gonna get it like that. You're gonna select back now. You're gonna go into your layout. Now for your layout, it doesn't really matter what it's gonna be as long as this anchor is all the way at the bottom. You wanna deselect automatically determine grid size. Yeah, go crazy with your grid size. I went for a 12 by eight. As the more grid sizes you have, the easier it is to customize. One more thing in here, you wanna select hide notification bar as you don't need that one at the top. So you wanna select back now and back again. Great, so we're halfway there. We just need to add in our UCCW skins as well as our custom slider at the bottom. Now to add in your UCCW widgets, we're gonna start off with the dates and then go into our username here. So we're gonna hold down the home screen Select our widgets, scroll all the way to the bottom and select UCCW for the top one. Let's go for a, it doesn't really matter, let's go for a 4x1. As is a safe skin, it's going to resize itself anyway. You're going to select use up now and you want to go for the one. Remember, this is the folder that you've copied in the previous tutorial. If you don't worry, if you haven't got this, just check the description below and it'll come with all of these resources. Remember, this is, this is in the folder called UCCW. And you want to select the one called lock screen and then select yes if you've already imported it if no it'll just do it for you now it's going to set it up you just need to tap the hand and then resize it pretty much at the top here remember if it's not fitting too well hold down and select resize and then if it's still not fitting too well you're going to have to check those grid lines just to get one that looks good for your phone so as you can see mine's not fitting too well I resized it there. I can't get it pretty much any better. So I'm just gonna select it now. Make sure your UCCW hotspots modes is off. If not, you're gonna have to go into your app drawer, select the menu, lock widgets, and make sure that it's off. Otherwise, you won't be able to edit it. Now, it's as you can see, I'm gonna select background here. That'll bring up your select object. And you wanna go to common controls as I just wanna move all of them at once. I'm gonna select position, faster movements. Let me see if I move it down a bit, what it'll look like. Not too bad, let me get it a bit more. Select it, select common controls, position one. Great, and there it is, position. Remember, because it's UCCW, you can reposition it to any way you want to get it to fit exactly. Almost done now, we're gonna be selecting now the, this username one, and why I created a custom UCCW skin for it, as now you can just simply use your own name or username, whatever you want. So let's go for a three by one, doesn't really matter as always. Remember, you want to go open use up again and you want to select the use up called lock screen MCS. I don't really know what else to call it. You just want to tap the hand again and now resize it to get it looking good. Let's zoom in a bit there. Whoops. Not sure how well you can see that, but if you select back, what you want to do now is that you can change this to be whatever you want. So let's just zoom out again. Great. So you want to select it now and it'll 
bring up, as you can see it's a little bit small in the background there, you just want to select your background, then static text, scroll your controls across and you want to go into text, rename it to whatever you want, select OK, you can save it if you want, I highly recommend it, if you don't, you get deleted and then you'll lose it, so save it if you want, and then finally we're going to move on to the custom slider. Now for the custom slider, it's really, really easy to add. You're just going to hold down on it. Remember, try and get it as much as you can into that tab to log in. You're going to select custom slider now. You're going to select your theme. And just make sure that it's the first one, the default one called Android. Now, as you can see, it's got these two sliders left and right. Let's swipe our first one. You're going to select what action it'll be. I want it to be disabled because I don't really need that one. You're going to select this one here, swipe it across. And then select disabled as well as we don't need that one but we do need the middle one over there so you're going to select it now your widget locker action now you want it to unlock so you're going to select that and then select unlock but we don't want that icon we want it to be blank so we're just going to select our icon here go for our gallery and you want to download or copy a blank png onto your phone don't worry, one will be provided in the description below, but it's pretty much just a blank icon. You just need to select the tick now. And there it is. You're going to select done. And there it is. So if you just want to check to see if it works, you just tap to log in. It unlocks your phone and that is your widget locker setup. You can just double check as if we unlock it and tap to log in. There it is unlocked. So last thing you want to do is to go back into your lock screen bring up one of your UCCWs, you want to go into your menu now and select lock widgets and turn it on just so you don't have to get any of those ugly bumping things and it will bring up the editor. So thank you very much guys for watching, this is Marco from My Colors Screen. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do as well as check out our Google+, Facebook and Twitter community. Thank you very much guys, this is Marco from My Colors Screen and don't stop customizing.